Yes, my peoples, it's T, and I'm back with a Never Apprentice review and reaction. So this week, episode what? Episode eight. So we're going to get straight into it. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, then. So first, first things first, let me address the elephant in the room for the second time. Yes, I am again wearing a green top. So I am today just a talking floating head. So I'm not changing it. So enjoy. Secondly, there's going to be minimal, minimal clips in this one because honestly, episode eight, there's nothing interesting to really show. Nothing really exciting really happened per se. Um, but there, there is a lot of talking points still. So we're going to get straight into it. So yes, long story short, um, they were asked to go to the Science Museum in Kensington, London. I did go to this museum actually myself about a year ago or maybe a little less than that to be fair um a very interesting place so i do recommend it if you anybody wants to go to a museum in london and kensington is a very fancy posh expensive part of london as well but um the museum is free entry i think it was free entry anyway um but yes it, um if, yeah very interesting place um lots and lots to see from yeah very long time ago to quite now and present anyway going off topic um also there was one I should have got a clip of this actually. At the start of the episode, Nor said, um, said let's let's get Supreme's first win. So let's see if Supreme get their first win. But anyway, long story short, the story, the task, the challenge was they had to take electric vehicles. Um and obviously as we know, electric vehicles are starting to overtake the sales of diesel cars, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and they have to create an ad campaign and a brand name and a logo. And then pitch this to industry experts and then Alan Sugar will decide who's the best. So this is not a profit and loss challenge task. This is a create a brand and make it sound good to industry experts. And then Alan Sugar will decide who's the best in the end. Um, so Nexus were giving the camper van, um, which is based and targeted to the leisure sector. And then Supreme were given the box van, which was again targeted to the business sector um however something occurred here so i do have a clip for this something occurred at the start of the episode so let me show you this real quick real quick real quick okay now no you're the only person here that hasn't been a project manager is that right mm -hmm. well in that case i'm going to make you project manager for this task so show me what you can do so yeah, as you saw there, Noor is the PM this week. She's one of the she's and this is for Team Supreme, and she's the one of the only. I think she is the only person, as he just said, actually, um, who hasn't been a PM yet. So let's see what she's got. Let's see what she's got. Um, and then after that, it went into you know the other team who's going to be the PM for the other team. Um, and Paul put himself forward. Um. Yeah, Paul put himself forward and he's and the reason the reason for him put himself forward was he said, which for me is kinda of wild, he said, I own a hybrid vehicle, so I have experience with electric vehicles. What's that got to do creating an ad campaign? But anyway, and then Mora also put herself forward again to be PM. Um but Paul won the deciding vote. And rightly so, based on Mora's performance last week, although she did win, but I thought she was a shocker. Um and then moving back to the other team, obviously team supremely poor. Um, let's see if they're better this week. Um, Phil had a had an idea for Nor, um, which to be honest, I think Phil had a decent idea to target it towards you know um, businesses that deliver food. Um, I think that's actually a pretty decent idea. Um, but it is Phil, so I wouldn't trust him either. And Nor decided to go with her with her own idea. But her idea for me. Her vision was completely confusing for my... I don't know if anyone else thought the same thing, but I thought her vision from literally the second she started talking about it, I was like, I'm not quite sure what angle you're getting at here from a business perspective. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Um, the only thing, though, with Noor's idea, it is something, I think, kind of unique, um, which could be a gap in the market. You never know. So maybe it's something that's missing and could take off, could go well. Paul, on the other hand, his idea, um, nobody liked it. Um, but he was a good enough PM to actually to pivot and change and decide to go with um, the young couple, um, the young couple direction instead, which I believe is kind of good. Yeah, everyone else was like, no, you can't go for kids and couples because the van's the van's not big enough. And 
it was more to be fair that 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 said that the loudest so um yeah good good spot there from 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 Mora um and then back to the other team um Noor initially asked Felucia to be the sub team leader <laughs> but essentially she, she just flat out refused flat out refused and to be honest after last week I do not blame her because she had a shocker last week and but her reasoning for, for, for saying no to it, it was because she didn't really believe in or understand the vision which is it's fair it's fair if you don't believe in a vision you don't understand what's going on then um, what's the point in, in, in trying to be a leader of any element of the project so it's, it's fair enough but Anyway, Phil Phil was the default sub team leader after Felucia said no. Um, but to be fair, Felucia and Phil on the same team. I say this every week. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it could be just as bad with Phil as as PM or Felucia. I don't think it would have made a difference. Whoever became PM, if, if I'm being completely honest. Um, then on ever team, Raj became the sub team leader. Um, yeah, Raj Raj has been has been decent for me to be fair i haven't seen a lot of her but what i have seen of her she's been okay so as the sub team leader yeah as i said before that team is is stronger anyway than the other team in terms of ability so um yeah and sh and paul gave her direction clear direction he wants elegance which to be fair targeting at you know the younger end of the market i'm not sure elegance is the right way to go but and she feels the same way but Let's see what happens later on down the line. Um, Trey, on the other hand, with the other team, as usual, Trey's been quite, quite consistent. He's starting to kind of, he's starting to kind of, um, you know, to come to the top of the pile in terms of like a strong candidate. He's starting to show his, show more every week. He's showing something. I haven't seen him do anything like crazy, like amazing, but he seems to be quite consistent. Like he never does anything really bad, if that makes sense. He knows his skills and he, and he plays any place to them strengths. But Trey was saying the right things to know um trying to tell her like listen you remember you're selling to a retailer not direct to consumer so think about that in your adv advertisement and your ideas and honestly um nor didn't seem to understand at all um and then rachel started, and then rachel came in and said it again and nor seemed to just be going on about whatever whatever she was saying so this is the first time seeing nor and i'm literally i don't know yeah this is the first time seeing nor lead and so far it's not being good, honestly. Um, and then and going back to Noor, 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 Noor chose to shoot the advertisement in a spot where you cannot drive the vehicle. You're making an advert for a vehicle and to not see the vehicle moving, rookie mistake. What was she thinking? Just ridiculous. So for me, that that, that decision was, was not only ridiculous, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bad decision which could come back to haunt at the end. And honestly, we're only 10 minutes into the episode um, at this point. And I, honestly, I can say, I can say quite, com quite confidently, I think Supreme have lost again. Because <laughs> surely, surely, just that one mistake already instantly, shooting a vehicle advertisement where the vehicle's not moving, it's curtains already, in my opinion. I'm going to be honest. But anyway, let's see. Um, and then I'm going to stick with North for a little more because, she, yeah, she was riling me up this whole entire episode. Um, and you know what? I've actually just decided I do not like Nor. I don't like her. It's, cause it's crazy because the last few weeks I actually thought she was okay. <laughs> I thought she was alright, but this episode I don't like her. Um, she was such a jarring director, very jarring, and an awful PM. Um, like wow, like wow, wow, wow. Trey is Trey, who has experience in this in this directing and editing life was trying to just help and support and give some advice and she was just shutting him down like if they win this if supreme win this it will be purely because the ever team had completely messed up because wow 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 wow, wow. anyway we'll come back to know a bit later um because i'm trying to go in in, chrono in chronological order here of the episodes so it moved back onto mora um and paul and that team creating their advertisement um and yo Mora is cringe. <laughs> I thought Verdi was cringe, but Mora is cringe. However, she was, in my opinion, right about the advert being really dull and boring and needing to be more fun and more high energy as any advertisement is to bring you in. So she's doing her cringe stuff and I think she may have saved saved Paul there in having a really bland advert. So well done to her for doing that. Um 
and then onto the branding raj raj decided to 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 um, call the brand ebnb um honestly is that a lawsuit pending soon from airbnb because what's that about and it doesn't even make sense like electric bed and breakfast it's it's a vehicle it's a car so yeah i get the premise of why they said ebnb i get it it's a play on words and it's yeah it sounds good but it doesn't make actual sense in reality and the logo what is that logo like it's just a squiggly line i know what the concept is behind it because they explained it in the episode but squiggly line what is that dead um and onto the Everton's branding, Felucia and Phil. Wow, 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 wow. Rubbish. Robito. All I can say is I feel like every single week I'm saying the exact same thing. Every single. I feel like a broken record. Everybody is rubbish. Everything is rubbish. <laughs> well, not everybody, because I think Trey and, and Rachel and maybe Raj and maybe Steve seem okay. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. And then going quickly back to the advert as well. Um, Steve's acting was actually pretty good. I feel like he's better than the actual actors that were getting paid to act, which is interesting to me. Um, but um, anyway, coming back to Noor. Literally, Noor's attitude for me was disgusting. <laughs> like, just I don't know. I don't know what it was, but every time I saw her speak or say anything to Trey or respond, it was so... It's just, for me, unprofessional and dismissive and rude. And I, and I have a, I guess, I feel like personally I have a high threshold to, to rudeness, you know, because I guess, um, I guess, for example, you know, Jamaicans, culture, etc., they can come across as rude because the way how they speak is quite harsh, naturally, even though they mean nothing by it. It's actually, it's not rudeness, but to put a person who don't know the culture, it seems as rude. It's classed as rude sometimes. But, so I'm, I have a, a high threshold to, to, to seem through rudeness, but that was, she was just actually just being just really rude, if I'm being honest. Um, so I don't use that word often for people unless they're actually rude. And yeah, I didn't like it at all. She was just creating a mess of an ad that's trying to help her. Um, the ad doesn't even, doesn't even relate to the, the vehicle. Um, so yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, anyway, so they came back together and showed they're branding to the rest of the team. Um, first, first things first. Trey asked, "Why is the font? Why is the font childlike?" Um, and Felucia was like, "Yeah, yeah, it was me. It was me. Yeah, I chose the font. Like that was something to be be proud of. The font was not something to be proud of at all. It looked so childish." Um, and then also on the other team, Paul's reaction to the logo. I think it's the first time in Apprentice history that I've actually seen a PM happy with what the sub team done because he was he's like, "Ah, oh, that's so brilliant!" And he was being fake. He's like, that's perfect. Great name. So interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah, but Mora was the only one to call out the negatives of that logo and name. Um, you know what, Mora? I've been cussing her for weeks here, but she's actually been good so far this week so i'm quite shocked because she's actually been quite good this week consistently so yeah maybe this is just her task or she turned the corner i don't know because we're getting close to the end um <laughs> and then nor beef and tray honestly nor is a no from me her attitude stinks making me sick the entire episode um and why 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 was the advert like that like anyway let's not get back to that the camper van advert i think was okay ish um compared compared to the other team anyway he was great um but they had too many things i was trying to add at the same time so yeah and then move on to the pitches moving on to the pitches now nor nor thinks she's smart but i could see straight through that nor literally pulling out the pitch herself and putting everyone else to be fair she made some good decisions putting trey there because trey's good at speaking and all this sort of stuff but her, her she's the pm at least be there and talk talk to it she listen she i know she pulled out that because she's afraid to pitch she, she's afraid to pitch and she had, i don't think she pitched throughout the entire series so yeah anyway um also moving, moving back to paul's paul's advertisement i do like the fact that paul included some specifications in the advertisement specs of the van that is um, i didn't hear much of that in the ever advert to be fair but they did waste a lot of it with just two girls sitting down on their phone. So that's weird. Um, and then in the pitch, why the f to be fair, also, post team, they're all, they're all poorly pitched. 
all of them poorly pitched. But why did Flo ask ask that question? Why did Flo ask that question to the experts? Like, do you understand what a logo means? Like, you just set yourself up to be shot in the foot because it's obviously not clear. It's clear to you because you, cause cause you designed it. Uh, and again, well done again to Mora. I can't remember saying this. Well done again to Mora for getting humour in the advert because that was one of the only compliments that they got from the entire process. Um, the auto the auto trader guy destroyed them, destroyed them entirely. Like you focus on the USB port and nothing else. Uh, but yeah, so moving on to the boardroom, I finally got to see the ads. Um, or oh, no, sorry, not in boardroom. Sorry, this was in the pitch. I finally got to see the actual full ads in the episode, and um, wow. Nor's ad, first time seeing it full full length, was awful. Like it was so bad. Like what was that? Jeez, jeez, Louise, Louise. Um, and to be fair, Trey Trey tried his best. Trey pitched it as best as he could, and he tried to um he tried to save it in a lot of places. And Nor Nor was so annoying. Like look at her like look at her already pushing the blame i should have got a clip of this to be fair this is what i should have got a clip of i forgot but look at Noah pushing the blame onto the branding team already like like literally when the branding was was called out she was like "Ooh, that's you that's you that's you phil really really that's <laughs> that's you like really like you're gonna say that like that is poor leadership like that's like yo yes she is yeah it's true but you don't that's not the time and place to do that they're pitching and their team and their one. Um, you don't do that. That's not the right time to be doing that at all, in my opinion. So yeah, she's not serious at all. She's not a serious person at all. Um, but yeah, the branding was poor. Um, Felucia was poor again. Obviously, she done the branding. Well, her and Phil. Um, and um, <laughs> when the question was asked around um, the advertisement, la laugh out loud to everybody passing the mic. Felicia passed it to Trey. Trey tried to pass it to Rachel. Rachel was like, don't give that to me. And Trey had to come in and try and save the day. Um, to be fair, he did try to give some good answers and try to mitigate and counteract what the questions were trying to show or ask. So, well done to Trey for trying. But honestly, if I'm being honest, this is the big statement I'm about to make right now. But I think Nor has possibly been the worst PM I've ever seen. <laughs> I just can't believe it. She disappointed me, man. I expected better from her. Um... And then moving on to the boardroom, listen, Alan Sugar, as usual, cracking me up. He said that <laughs> he said that North team logo looked like they were selling a defibrillator. <laughs> and I can't unsee. It's so true. It's so true. But now nah, seriously, Nor has problems. Nor has serious problems. She said she said the ad was very good. I can't do the accent. She said the ad was very good. Like very good. Like Mora and F I could see Mora and Flo was trying not. This is another clip I should have put in, but Mora and Flo was trying not to laugh. Like they were trying not because they they was watching it because they know they've not lost this task surely because they was trying hard to hold their laughter in. Honestly, if No doesn't go home today, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Um, but yeah, um, I I actually do wanna I do wanna I do wanna ask Kristen though. Like, how old is Noor? Does any, I need to Google this or something. How old is Noor? Because she seems so childish and inexperienced in this in this, in this this game. I just don't understand. The way how she was talking, the things she was saying, just really naive. I just don't get it. Poor. Um, I know when she watches this back, unless she's really that crazy and delusional. When she watches this back, or her family watches this back, she's going to get destroyed. And she'll, she'll probably destroy herself. But um, anyway, on to the results. Um, in the end supremely poor lost again no surprise there no surprise there i don't I literally i i don't know who she's bringing back i don't know who she's been bringing back to the to the boardroom because she's the only one that should go home in my opinion um she literally is in her own world delusional don't get me wrong felucia and phil were poor as well as usual rachel and trey play no parts in this they don't deserve to go anywhere um they tried they tried their best they tried their best i think i should go Put it best when he said that Nor was the, the 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 driver of this of this of this this fan and and Trey and the whole team were in the back screaming saying you you're going the wrong way and she was just ignoring them so yeah um poor but anyway let's move on to the results let's move on to the actual result and who went home so let me, let me quickly play this clip for you I'll be honest with you Sugar I don't know what I'm banging my head against a brick wall here I'm frustrated Nor. But you don't understand 
how do you mess this thing up? I gave you the opportunity to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It was a terrible, terrible advert. Awful. I'm afraid to say it is with regret. Lord. Poor. Yep, you're fired. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. That is honestly shocking. And you know what's funny about that? Do you know what's actually funny about that? Alan Sugar didn't even ask her to bring anyone back to the boardroom. I, I don't think I've I seen it before. Didn't even bring, didn't even say who you bring back to the boardroom. Literally had a conversation with everybody and he sent her straight home packing instantly. No messing about, no wasting time. And honestly, I do not blame him at all. He could see straight through her rubbish. Like it was, it, it was pointless trying to even talk to her. Tough head. It was pointless trying to talk to her. She wouldn't even listen or see the light that her ad was rubbish. Fair enough. You want to stick by your products, stick by your creation, but also be honest and truthful. Like, come on, it's rubbish. Everybody said it. You're the only one saying it's not rubbish. Like, come on, don't, don't die on your sword like that. <laughs> no need. But anyway, um, yeah, man, trust me. And yo, even in the cap, even in the cap, she was still back in her ad. Like, it's like, wow, is she crazy? Like, yeah, she crazy. Yeah, she crazy. And honestly, Paul was very close to going home as well. Very close. Honestly, it should have been a double firing because he's been a, like, so as Sir Alan Sugar called out, he's been a serial loser. Serial loser for every every week, nine weeks. Anyway, anyway, there are nine candidates left. Only three episodes to go. Next week is the live shopping challenge. And honestly, I cannot predict who is going to lose this one. Most likely Team Supreme again. But who from Supreme is going to go home? Maybe Phil. Maybe Phil. He's one of the poor ones that are still left. So Phil or Felucia, I think. That's my prediction. Next week, Team Supreme lose again. And it's going to be Phil or Felucia that's going to go home. If somehow the other team loses, Team Nexus, it's going to be Mora. I know she's done well this week. And maybe she will do well at selling because she's just hyper and cringe and loud. But I don't know. But yeah, let's see how it goes anyway. But that was Apprentice Week 9. And honestly, I'm not even going to ask to like, comment or subscribe. If, do what you want to do. <laughs> you get me. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Yeah.